And another thing, I mean, it is, you know, it's just crazy how much, you know, how many people are uneducated out here with, you know, with what's really going on. I mean, um, the law enforcement against prohibition, you know, they state many things in this paper here that I got. Many, 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 many things. I mean, um, let's see here what we got. What we got here. Law Enforcement Against Prohibition is an international nonprofit educational organization created to give voice to current and former members of law enforcement who believe the war on drugs has failed. The war on drugs has failed, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, think about how much money they're putting in to stop people who just smoke weed. Think about how much money they're putting into trying to find these weed fields and cut them down. Think about how much money they are putting into the resources that it even takes to uh, locate these fields and so on and so on when when you know you know there's people in California and Ohio and Michigan and all the other places that can grow this stuff legally and pay taxes on it to help the sick which is the exact same thing that these doctors are doing in the labs so how come the doctors can fathom up some man-made synthetic or whatever they're giving me in this pill and I can't grow my own marijuana just to say I don't need that pill and I'll be okay how come that's wrong how come that's wrong? How come it's wrong for me to self-medicate myself? Why? Why is it wrong? That's all I want to know. I just don't... I mean, I'm not saying that I don't trust doctors because a doctor has been trained to help people who are sick get well. That's what a doctor is trained to do. But a doctor is not trained to give you something that is not going to help you feel better. A doctor is not trained to find out your sickness and give you wrong information. A doctor is not trained is not trained to exploit your sickness and to get rich off of it. Maybe they are as a matter of fact. I don't even know because I'm not a fucking doctor. But all I have to say is that this Marijuana Medical Handbook is a must read because I personally think that there should be a book out there for every single type of medicine that we're putting into our body. There's some stuff that they're broadcasting on TV that hasn't even been approved to prescribe to people. Ask your doctor before you take this pill. I mean, come on, but you know, you can sell it over the counter, it hasn't been approved, but ask your doctor before you take the pill. I mean, it's just a big circle. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. We're what we're doing here at Roster Free ENT. We're trying to educate people, okay? We're trying to inform people, and we're trying to reform people. Good music sets us free. There's a lot of people that I know that, that use music, oh, excuse me, that use music as therapy. I mean, when you get angry, how many people out there listen to music just to relax? How many people out there listen to music just to say, I don't, I don't need to blow up and lose my cool. I can just listen to some calm, relaxed music and relax. Or I can write a poem, or I can paint a picture, or I can read a book, or I can read some information about some legalization of marijuana. I mean, it's, it's a whole list of, you know, fathoming ideas that, you know, that we can do here at Rasta Free ENT. A whole list of things that we